Welcome back friends, family, and unknown neighbors in diverse places. This is part five, I hope, I believe, I think, of Let's Play Dragon Force 2. This is the Fonderia campaign featuring Bart's. And we have a couple of people here on our side from Topaz. That's right, we've got one nation under arms. And that leaves us with, what, six more to go? So just make sure I have at least one person with 70 intelligence at that castle. Oh, first we're going to have to deal with uh, domestic affairs here. Charisse has just joined us. Not really interested in using her, unfortunately. But always good to have uh, extra sword on our side. まあ、そこに聞いて知っているものを探すしかありませんか。なら会ってもらいたい奴がいる。プレストって親父なんだが、どうも積極臭くて俺は苦手だ。誰が積極臭いんだし。お待ちにお目にかかる。ファンダリア
こに私の求める答えがある私は時のフラットの青の助力を求めましたそこで我々はオルボという魔族の率いる軍団の襲撃を受けたのです夜の闇に紛れた襲撃だったため警護の部隊は全滅フラットのあのレノックス王は魔法で私を狐に変身させ私を助けてくれたのです私は辛くも逃れましたがそれっきりレノックス王の消息をその時受けた傷のため私は記憶を失い諸国をさまよっておりましたシェンのおかげで記憶は回復したのですが元の姿に戻れなくなってしまっていますオルゴとのマザそして過去の英雄か行ってみるか魔族について何か手がかりが得られるかもしれませんなかすかに残る記憶ではさばらくそしてとこれだけですよなんだか頼りないだなおそらくタバクトはハイランドの下にある大砂漠行ってみるかそうだ行動してみないことには何も始まらないはファンダリアだけでは済まなくなりましたねだレジェンドラ大陸全体に関わることだ As if it hasn't already So that's the weekly report POWs Some yay, some nay as always Let's see who's feeling a bit like a yay Anybody I want to be bothered with I would like Miyuka and Understood, let's work together Alright Is there anybody else here who qualifies for the stipulations we have set forth? No. Again, Agile is story based. He will not join Fandaria. There are certain characters that will not join certain campaigns, but they will join other nations. It just depends on who you're using. So, I really was looking forward to making him a respectable fighter, but this is not going to be the time. Awards. I probably have some to give out. Only five. Oh, okay, because I didn't do anything that last turn. Okay. And we're done. So let's see what we're doing right now. We want to gather ourselves together to take care of that desert. Again, Miyuka, we want to move you because we're going to be using you for sure. You're probably going to be one of my main people for quite a while. And all of my A team is going to gather at Rosarto, most likely, and press to Eleanor. Now, At some point, I would like to deal with these castles, so. In the interest of saving time, I will do that off screen, I think. So they will go there. By they, I mean she. They will stay for searching and building purposes. You will stay for building purposes. As soon as I have somebody with more intelligence, they will meet him up there. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, we can go ahead and get you back up to full. And bandits really aren't worth much, but why not? You, 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 and you. And that works out. Giovanni can stay, take charge. Again, I'm not going to be going to any caverns. I was about to, too, but then I caught myself and said, wait, I'm not doing that. That's right. So that's going to make things a little more interesting, I think. It's just you two? Oh, actually, we'll take Esteban. He also complies with our current conditions. Where is Enzo? Where did I put him? Oh, he's there. So I'll tell you what, Enzo, you know Giuseppe, he gets lonely. So you go ahead and watch over him. Brothers in arms and all that good stuff. So it'll probably be domestic in just a minute here, which is fine. We're just getting ourselves together. Oh, wait, come back. Oh, and look, I was afraid that was going to happen. Highland has claimed that castle before I could, and they're really reinforcing it too. That's a bit obnoxious. But what you going to do? Eva joins us? Okay, that's surprising. I didn't even know she was freelance. <laughs> Schneider doesn't work well with women. 
and he's a terrible character, so hey. Vendor joined us. Excellent. And we found a ride. Muka. Already pulling through for us. And weekly reports. We have no other POWs I'm interested in right now, so we won't worry about it. It's probably going to be a while until I can forge anything, so we're just going to give this stuff out. Divine Ring raises defense. What does Bartz have? Nothing, so he'll get it. Getting into duels and all. The shield we will give to nobody. Nobody I'm using who can use it. Rod. Okay, we'll give that to Rosa for right now. That's perfectly fine. And we're back. Just took care of a couple of fights off screen. Nothing important. Just took out some of those independent nations to the southwest corner. Quick updates. We found a magic ring at Rosarto Castle, which we're going to give to... Well, question is, who's going to benefit from the MP boost the most? Bart's at the moment probably won't. Once he hits level 10... Oh, I know who will. Stefano, because... He doesn't even have enough MP to use or a bomb, so he gets it without saying. And that's just sad when you don't have enough MP to use all your abilities at least once. And a lot of the monk fighters like Stefano and Enzo suffer from that status. And Muramasa, not using either one of them, so... You know what? I don't think this is a sword that any non-humans can use, so we'll just give it to Giovanni so it's not going to waste there. You know? Even if it's just a ceremonious gifting, because he probably won't see much action at this point. Very happy about the fact that we found an archer crest. I gave that to Laura, so now she has something to supplement her first troops. And I already gave out my awards for this session, I think. Everybody got one except Bart's because he really doesn't need it at the moment. Not quick to give anybody 100 troops, because at that point, the AI starts to ramp things up in terms of their troop numbers. So, not overly anxious to do that. As far as POWs, I wanted to do this on screen. This is basically the castles we took out. A cell who was by his lonesome. Usually these people will join straight away, but sometimes they make you wait a turn or two. Kozue, yeah, I usually don't have problems with them joining straight away. Garcia, I really don't like him for story reasons. He gave uh, our people of Bozak a lot of grief, killed Marcus's family, I think, things like of that nature. So we're not going to show him any sort of attention whatsoever. And that's for any playthrough on screen or off that I'm engaged in. Garcia gets no love from me. Ropetegi, he's going to make us wait a little bit. He normally puts up a bit of a resistance, but he'll usually join. Mateo, I'd like him to join strictly for building purposes. We'll not be using him in combat. And actually, yeah, I want Oscar for one specific reason. I remember back when I was playing as Bozak in my first playthrough. I think I said that I was going to have him engage a specific general for story purposes and when the time came it completely slipped my mind but I did think about it I didn't mention it on screen but I did think about it so this is my chance to hopefully make up for that provided the game allows that to happen we want to take somebody with intelligence being Bender who you saw a lot of in the Bozak campaign if you watch that we want to send him to Okuba hopefully to find us some Birdman press didn't have to give her anything because she's not seeing the action because yes she is human and we have no interest in that right now actually I can leave her there to hopefully find some statues we're gonna need those take him her her and him want all my primary people to meet up put this on fast who else is here a cell you know what? He is a beast character. I'm not sure if you can tell there, but we're going to be using him actually. So, yeah, he can sit tight. All right. Perfect. That's exactly 10 people. We've got a full house. Everybody fully recruited, suited, booted. Good. Let's move it. Bark. Lawn. Now I actually have a pick of people to use. How about that? Let's see. Rosa for sure. You know what, we're going to try a cell. We're just going to try to build him up to see what all he can do, what he's capable of. But we're going to send Laura and Miyuka as a backup. In fact, let's spread this out a little bit better. You know what, I want one powerhouse to be with the other team, so we will take these four. Because I'm pretty sure Highland, 
you know, emptied out that cast a little bit, so we should be okay. That's the bond. Just to check. Okay, Kikyo is by herself. At least I think that was Kikyo. Yep. And she is well separated from anybody else who could help her. So, save our game real fast. Next cast only has one person as well. This is going well. Do you really think you weenies are a match for me? In short, yes, I do. Question is, who do we want to give it to? Somebody who could use the experience. Ooh, so close to level five. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. But he's only level three, so we'll give it to him. Again, we want strong teams, more so than strong individuals. Preferably a strong team composed of strong individuals. Let's see if we can make that happen. Let's see if we can make that happen right here. So welcome everyone to the battlefield. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. If not, hopefully this will help pick it up for you. And for some reason, a cell is a little lacking in the confidence department. But that's okay, that's what we're here for. We're here to coax him and to coach him and, uh, you know, show him just what he's made of. And for some reason, a song from Sonic Heroes just flashed through my mind and I'm a little disturbed that that is the first thing that popped in my mind. <laughs> Sweet, sweet, I'm too sweet. Oh, and another unintentional Sonic reference there. Sweet, sweet, you're too sweet. Yeah, and it's funny because I haven't even played Sonic Hero since, what, 2006, 2007? Yeah, I really did not care for that one at all. I I remember being so disappointed. It was the first multi-platform Sonic game. It was the first Sonic game after, you know, Sega went out of the hardware game for good. And first one after Sonic Adventure 2, which... While I didn't care for it as much as most folks, I kind of preferred the style of Sonic Adventure 1. Even with its many faults, I thought it was just over overall more fun and enjoyable game. And it felt more like what I wanted out of a Sonic game. And it's ironic, despite, again, all the faults that that game had, you know, all the glitches and bad calls, as far as the pure gameplay of it and some things they did thematically, I really thought that was the best approach so far, ironically, to a 3D Sonic game. And I thought... And I still think, honestly, if they had just refined the formula that they had there, uh, I wasn't paying attention. I could have healed with him. We're not going to do her. I don't know what his strength is like. And yeah, he's a little bit soft anyway. So we're not going to play that game in the off chance he could die. Give it to her instead. But no, I... I preferred the style of Sonic Adventure 1. I felt like if they'd really just stuck with that, refined it, ironed it out, stuck with what they had, got rid of the glitches, made it a more smooth experience, you know, I thought it could have really turned into something great. Sonic Adventure 2 mostly built on it, but the changes they made, I think, took more steps backward than they did forward. And a lot of good things about Sonic Adventure 2, I can see why a lot of people prefer it over the first one, for sure. It's just a personal preference thing. But after that, Sonic Heroes just took even more steps back in. Again, they had a good idea, you know, using several characters on the fly. It was a novel approach, but I just don't like the way they approached it. And I don't think I'm alone in that. And the game being overly campy and cheesy didn't help either. So, I mean, I, I didn't want it. It didn't have to be as serious as Sonic Adventure 2 was in some ways, but it was just over the top campy. I mean, but again, it didn't make for a lot of laughs, whether they were intended or not. So, you know, you always got that. But anyway. How did I get talking about Sonic games? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I was really big into Sonic back in the day, like a lot of people. I mean, you know, grew up with the Sega console, so, you know, how could you not be? But I just really enjoyed those style of games anyway. But I, don't ask me what the newest Sonic game is or what's going on. Comics, TV, I, I have no clue. I know there's a new Sonic Boom thing. I've just really lost all interest in the character and the franchise. It just... Sonic 4 Episode 1 is what did it for me. I was kind of following up with it up until then. But, you know, as soon as they first announced it, it said Project Needle Mouse. See, I was so much of a Sega nerd that I knew what Project Needle Mouse was referring to. So, you know, 2D, Back to the Roots. The fact that they even knew what Needle Mouse was kind of impressed me still. So I said, you know what? 
let's give them a chance. Let's see if they still have some semblance of what made these games great. Forget about the attitude, forget about the speed, all that was just marketing. Let's see if they actually got the original gameplay, the physics, you know, the momentum based platforming, you know, speed being something that you have to earn and achieve through skill, time, experience, and effort, not something that just came automatically. Boost pads being used sparingly. Birdman Crest, excellent. Not that there wasn't a lot of them back then, but it was used more strategically and only when it was actually needed to help get through certain areas without compromising your movement. But there was actual platforming involved and the level design took that into account and it was well done. You know, pitfalls weren't overused. All sorts of things. And I saw Sonic 4 Episode 1 and forget the way it looks or the way it sounded, just in terms of gameplay, it let me know they really didn't get, they didn't get a darn thing. And had no intention to, it looks like, so. Just to get another builder. We don't care about any of the rest of them. Arms, nope. Awards, yes. Ooh, our first Birdman crest, I'm so excited. And this is the toughest decision of all, who's gonna get it? My first thought was to give it to Elan, but he is strong enough to where he can get by with even bandits for now, so. Esteban, I'm not going to use unless I have to because I don't really care for him. So let's see. Out of people I'm going to use, probably Muka. Probably Muka. But a cell needs something other than monks because they're not terrible, but I really would rather have something else. So uh, we're going to give it to a cell. Why not? Beast Crest, who can get this? Rosa? Why not? Nice supplement to the mages there. And a mage crest to go to nobody I'm using right now. Got a faith coin we probably won't need to use ever, but it's there just in case. And we're gonna give it to you, give you I'm gonna give you more beasts. They're useful against certain troop types actually, so that's not terrible. And we're gonna give you more birds straight away. Make up for the fact that we're taking away your monks. And save our game one more time. And that'll almost be an episode, I think. But let's see if we can get another Domestic Affairs. Hopefully find some more stuff. Holding out for a Falcon Crest or a Ghost Crest. Which is what I'd like to see. That's why we have people stationed in those Topaz Castles. First things first. Class. Easy to forget to do this sort of thing. You don't want to do that. And who else got something? Uh, that's bad, I, okay, you have archers, we definitely want to fix that, yes, before you see any action, and you have this, okay, Barts, and Stefano, you're at level 7, you can take a back seat, the people who need it the most are going to get it right now, so that'll be them. And, okay, I don't care. Somebody's headed there, but that's fine. You know what? We'll take everybody. And you're going there too. Haha! <laughs> Just gave the castle up. Oh! Everybody wants that castle, apparently. Is it because I'm interested in it? Okay. I think this fight will round out our episode for today, so that's perfect. Here we have Annette, one of my favorite generals in this game, accompanied by Hilda, one of Highland's starting people. Now Hilda has healing, so with that in mind, we're going to, ooh, level 9. This would be a good chance for somebody to get some levels. 70 soldiers, huh? Ooh, I'm not sure if I want to do this. Uh, hmm. Thing is, she's got 70 soldiers, that's the thing. Yeah, sure. Alright, I might have to speed this fight up because this is going to take longer than I anticipated. I'm going to try to keep that to a minimum in this playthrough. Ooh! One of the more rare battlefields. Snowy backdrop. Without the snow. Oh, there it goes. Alright. Let it snow. Let it snow. Let it snow. And no, that's not how the melody goes. But... <laughs> Okay, no special formations with them, not surprised. Wouldn't expect mages and beasts to have an affinity for each other. Kind of the antithesis of each other in some ways. 
Ooh. Food fight. That's what it looks like. My beasts are going to go four. Oh, you only have healing? You know what? We'll put the beast on melee. Why not? Not sure how we're doing. I guess we have more troops by a little bit, so not terrible. You know what? Let's play smart. Because I have healing. Oh, she has revival. And it actually gave her back some people. That's not fun. Do I have any beasts left? It doesn't look like it. Disperse. And advance. We're going to sandwich her in. Since she's going to play these kind of games. Regroup. And stand by. Por favor. Right. Oh, I still got some beasts left. Excellent. Yeah, see, beasts actually, I have to give them more credit. Back when I was using bows, like I was going on and on about how terrible they were. And it's not to say that they don't suck, because they kind of do. But, and hopefully I'm not giving her any ideas by using this, but she knows what she has. Hopefully she just uses another revival and then she'll be out of MP completely, can't heal. But you know, it was really because at the time we were fighting things like ogres and beasts are defenseless basically against ogres. They have no chance against them. But there are a lot of troops that they're, well I won't say a lot, excuse me, can't false advertise. There are several troops that they're actually quite effective against so beasts are not as terrible as they at first appear. You just gotta know who you're sending them in against. And I was surprised, I thought they were bad against soldiers for some reason, but in this game at least, they're actually okay against soldiers. They say they're equal, but actually I usually get the edge over soldiers when I'm using these, so keep that in mind. But they really shine against any mechanized troops. They do good against technology, so I think it's just because, you know, they're like, you know, technology bad, crush, smash, kill, so I think that comes out of them. I think that's the rationale behind that. And... Rosa, I'm not going to take it away from you. So, we're going to let you get this one in. In the interest of preserving time, I will speed up the next fight, sadly. Hope you don't mind. But we will leave this one in. In fact, no, if anything, this should be the one I speed up because there's really nothing left to see at this point. So, let's do it. down she goes hilda has been captured fantastic news today finally we have annette you know what i'm not even gonna mess around with her miyuka if you could just nuke her please And that's it for Annette as well. Victory is ours. And I was exploiting one of my favorite AI tricks there. They will usually not retreat as long as they have at least one troop standing. So I took advantage of that fact there. And learned Tri-Blade in the process. Now really fast because we're definitely done. This is more than enough for one episode. We don't want to overexert ourselves. Everybody come back to Eleanor please. For the time being. That's going to do it for this episode. So, just going to wait till everybody gets to the home castle. Probably go to Domestic a couple times, try to get some more troops. And, oh, are we feeling brazen? Okay. By all means, we'll save you a plate. And, okay, we're only feeding one extra. We can handle that. I'm going to save it. This has been Let's Play Dragon Force 2, the Fandaria campaign. Oh, I finally slipped and did it. Fandaria, featuring Barks. Thanks for watching.
Take care and see you soon.